Hey guys, Nick here from Tech or Duo. In this video, we're going to go over installing Video Station for the Synology NAS. So, first thing we want to do is log in and go to your package center. We're going to scroll down. We're going to find Video Station. Click on that and we'll click install. So, it'll give us about a minute or so to install. Alright, so now the install finished. Let's go ahead and click on our file station. And we're going to go ahead and look to our left here. We're going to see that a new folder has been created. This is a shared folder called video. So here, anything that we drop into this folder can be indexed and used. Uh, essentially, we could really use any of these folders, but we're going to kind of keep it isolated under the video here. So uh, let's go ahead and we're going to browse to that. So I'm just going to open up a new explorer here. Let's go ahead and head to our Synology here. So that's the name of my Synology. You guys can do it by IP address if needed. I'm gonna to go to video. And so let's go ahead and create a new folder. This is going to be, let's say movies. We can make another one called TV shows and so on and so forth. So we'll go ahead and leave that as is. Let's go ahead into the movies folder and let's drag and drop a movie. So I'm gonna put uh, a Knight's Tale. We'll let that transfer quickly. And there we are, perfect. So let's minimize that, close out of this, and let's open up our video station. So of course you can open it up from here or you can go up to your apps from the top here, scroll down and click on video station. So here we go. So video station is going to appear. It's going to give you a list of items, kind of a tutorial on what it what it does. But uh, I had installed it previously, so it's not going to show me now. But to the left here, you can see that we have playlists, movies, TV shows, and so on. So we can create a new library if we wanted to. We can make it public, private, assign different permissions to different users. So if you guys have different users on your Synology, you can assign it to them so that they can watch it as well. So we don't need a new library. What we're gonna do is go to our movies tab here. We have nothing here. We wanna create an indexed folder. So let's go ahead and add a folder. It says folder here. We're gonna select, go to our video, and drop that down, and we're gonna click on movies, click select. And of course, uh, we're going to keep these as is. We'll click OK. And now it's going to index that. So while that's indexing, we can see here we can do TV shows as well. We have nothing under TV shows now, but um, we'll just set that up anyway. And that's going to do its own indexing too. Under parental control here, you can edit and uh, change these settings as you'd like. This is essentially for TV recording, if you guys have that enabled and set up. We don't, so we're just gonna go over to the next tab here. So here are the privileges. So if you guys wanted to add different users, you would do that in your Synology. So we would come back here. We could go to Control Panel, our users. And let's say I wanted to give Mike access to it. We can edit, click on Permissions, and then of course give them access to videos, um, also the application, give them access to the video station, click OK. And then head back here, refresh, and there's Mike now. And we can give them access to the public sharing and so on and so forth. Let's go ahead, head over to advanced, save that. Here are the transcoding settings. Set up auto download or order, and all those, we're just gonna leave it as is. And here is our options. So we got a Chromecast, subtitles, and so on. So cancel out of that. Let's see. So let's just click on movies one more time to refresh. And here we are. So it pulled an image. It's also pulling out all the information for us, which is great. It tells us the quality and it tells us the rating as well. So that's pretty cool. We can go ahead and share this. We can bookmark it, like it. And that's pretty much it. So uh, essentially we can log out if we need to, 
we can do offline transcoding, and so on, and that's just the settings tab. All right, well, that's how you set up the video station. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I would recommend using Plex over the video station, but um, this is a great alternative and it's really easy to set up. So if you guys do like this layout, like the way it looks, um, go ahead and use it, try it out. Just be aware of your Synology and the hardware and the limitations that it has. And that's about it. All right, take care, guys.